Ninja, welcome back to the program of Flow 94.9 FM Umoya, the flow of God's own state of course. Before we went to pay some bills, we did say that once we return, we'll be introducing our guest in the studio this morning. We'll be taking us through this particular institution in Nigeria we want to discuss in the studio this morning. I have with me from Clifford University, the Vice President Pastor Dingba Dingba Esowe, PhD, Student Services, Senior Lecturer, Religious Studies Department at Clifford University, Oberenta, Hige Campus, Abia State. Good morning and welcome to the program, sir. Good morning. Thank you. All right. Uh, we are here again today to discuss uh, Clifford University. Please, can you tell us more about Clifford University, sir? Clifford University is a private institution established in Abia State and we have been operating since the 2016-2017 academic session. It's located at EEA of Enemy Port Harcourt Expressway here in Abia State. Clifford University is an institution for whole being education operated by the Seventh-day Adventist Institution and it has been growing from height to height. We started with three faculties, but now we have six faculties. We started with about 15 programs, but today we have about 37 programs. So Clifford University has been serving Abia State and other states in the Southeast and in fact, the entire country. We have graduated our first set of students and our second set of students. Currently, the third set of our students have completed the academic work and they are rounding off with their projects and will soon be graduated. So Clifford University is here to let the people know that we are growing and growing and growing. Of the faculties we have, we have the Faculty of Science, which now has new programs added to it, especially the Faculty of Basic Medical Sciences, which started with the Battle of Nursing Science in, uh, uh, three years ago. They are now moving to their fourth year. But now we have three additional programs which will help people to have professional taste and flavor to add to the society. NUC has now granted Clifford University to run a program in medical lab science, and it is BMLS, Bachelor of Medical Lab Science. We also have the, uh, the approval to run public health, Bachelor of Science, public health. We also have approval to run Environmental Health Science, Bachelor of Science, Environmental Health Science. In the Faculty of Law, which also started the same year with the uh, Faculty of Basic Medical Sciences, we have received approval to run a BSc program in Social Justice in addition to the LLB. The good thing now also is that Info University has a new faculty, and that is Faculty of Education. We have, grant, we have been granted approval to run Bachelor of Education Guidance and Counseling, as well as Bachelor of Science Education in Computer Science Education. Furthermore, the NUC has granted Clifford the approval to run Bachelor of Science in Industrial Relations and Personnel Management, as well as the Bachelor of Library and Information Science. So Clifford University is growing in limbs and bounds. And we want the public to know that and come and embrace this whole being education, all-round education, which addresses both the physical, the mental, the spiritual, and the social aspects of life. All right. Thank you very much, Pastor Isabel. You, you've said interesting things about uh, Clifford University. You made mention of from three faculties to six faculties at the moment, uh, and about 36 programs are running in the institution as we talk. Of course, you just said something about the Faculty of Education that's now running uh, uh, programs in that particular uh, faculty. All right, with all these, Pastor Isoe, uh, why do you think uh, that uh, Clifford University is coming with a different dimension talking about education system in Nigeria? Yeah, education system in Nigeria for some time seemed to have always been only in the head. But from what I have explained to you, we also want the hands to be at work. Mm -hmm. And we also develop the minds. 
That is why most of these new programs are professional courses, which after people are trained in them, they can establish on their own, or they can cooperate with other people to establish. Because if you are a medical lab scientist, you may not require anybody to employ you, you can establish. If you are somebody in industrial relations and personnel management, you can form a consortium or join those who already have a, cons a, a consortium where you will be uh, working on personnel management. Mm -hmm. In guidance and counseling, it's a course that if somebody gets trained in, the person can be a counselor. And then you don't necessarily wait for people to employ you before you go into work. Talk about computer science education. Everything these days is computer, computer, computer. And when people are educated in it, they can even establish their own centers where they will train people and educate people to use computer to do work. And when you talk of social justice, it teaches people about handling ma uh, matters outside of the court. People can be trained in this area and they can even become consultants who make peace within the society. All right, with what you have established this morning, you are trying to say that uh, these things uh, make uh, uh, Clifford University to be different from other higher institutions in Nigeria? Certainly, it grants us uniqueness because mm -hmm. also there is one program we have, All though right. it came before this one came in. Okay. We call that one Bachelor of Science in Cyber Security. You know, there are a lot of uh, 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 cyber crimes people are committing with computer. This year we have boys, but cyber security is a nice program that Clifford University is one of the few universities running it in Nigeria as well as in Eastern Nigeria that when people are trained in it, they will be taught how to curb all these internet crimes. So Clifford University has a unique place in education in Eastern Nigeria. All right, thank you very much. Now let's talk about the management of uh, Clifford uh, University. You are talking to uh, a listener, somebody at the end of the day with big interest in uh, in this. Uh, so how is the management uh, first of Clifford uh, University? Let us start with that. Well, Clifford University is managed by the Seventh-day Adventist Church and there is a leadership put in place. And we run the program with a thorough and proper understanding with parents of words or sponsors of words that are sent to us. We, are, we run a boarding uh, facility. We are not a day school. Therefore, students who come to Clifford University are kept within our reach on campus so that we also manage their life and their time. So they know when to go to read, they know when to go for sports, they know when to go for classes, and they know when to rest. So time management is of paramount importance and we build their character based on that. All right. What about the learning environment? This is another aspect of the uh, institution, education institution, anywhere in the world. Yes. We are told that uh, in those days, a, a university is defined as a library surrounded by some houses. Before university has good e-learning uh, library, we also have our physical uh, library where we have a lot of holdings in the different faculties. In fact, we have faced accreditation. And when that accreditation took place, we scaled through in all the courses because of our library holdings. So we have a very well-trained librarian who was trained in Babcock University. And he has been managing our library very well. Our holdings there, both for law, nursing, and all other science and uh, social science courses, make students busy. Apart from that, you know, the thing in vogue now is also the e-learning. So our e-learning, our e-library, is also well equipped so anyone who comes to study in clifford university will find information available to grow in his or her area of studies uh, uh, lately of course uh, we cannot uh, do all this and then take away the aspect of security because this is another interesting angle when it comes to anything but we're going a very short break uh, pastor is when we return we'll start from that particular point talking about security of the environment, the institution, how well, how, what have been the measures so far put in place by the institution to ensure students have a safe learning environment at the end of the day. Stay with us, dear listener. This is Flo, 94.9 FM, Umoya, the flow of God's own state. And you're welcome back to the program. Of course, uh, this is Flo, 94.9 FM, Umoya. We've been looking at uh, Clifford University, uh, Pastor Esoe. Uh, before we went to, on that particular break, uh, we said something uh, with regard to security. Because uh, for you to have a civilian environment, this must 
be taken into consideration. What do you have to tell the audience about today? Okay, first and foremost, I wouldn't fail to recognize that God remains our eternal security. But aside from that, we are doing our best because mm. we have a security outfit, they are called KK7, that take care of security uh, situations on campus. They have their personnel who mount security posts around the campus. Then we also have measures by which we make sure that students are intact. No student leaves the campus, even with those security men at the gate, without approval from the authorities' consent. And before the authorities grant the approval, their parents' consent must be sought and gotten before they can be given a pass. And it is without pass from the hall administrator that will enable those at the gate to allow them travel and come back, even for a short pass. They must get clearance from their parents before they are allowed out of campus. With these measures and the security personnel around the campus monitoring the activities, we, by God's grace, have been shielded from harm and danger. Oh, all right. Uh, you said something that before any student goes out of the university campus, uh, notice must be sent across. Uh, is that to say that students are not allowed to stay outside the campus? Yeah, it is only in very rare cases that students are allowed to stay off campus, and those must be married students who have their family members around because we, ca we have not provided a space yet on campus where the married students could be quartered. So married students who are matured and have their families around are given approval. It must go to the administrative committee of the university and they will approve for such people to leave off campus. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, other students are to stay on campus. It has a great uh, impact to make on our training process onto those students. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, dear listener, at the appropriate time, we'll open the phone lines for you to call in so that we know your uh, take. Uh, you question uh, this particular uh, move by the Clifford uh, University as the program progresses this morning. Pastor, so let's come down to uh, the, in, the tuition fee because this is another interesting aspect of uh, education. Something must go in. How is it like at the Clifford University? Well, first and foremost, once somebody is qualified to come to Clifford by having the necessary a national cut off mark of JAMB and the necessary prerequisite courses in WAIC or NACO, the person will now choose a course of study which must have been done through JAMB. Mm -hmm. And depending on the course of study, the uh, financial involvements are variegated. Those who are doing courses in uh, nursing, uh, law, and uh, currently now we have basic medic, uh, med medical lab science. Their fees are higher. You know, these professional courses require a highly trained personnel to run. They pay 850,000 Naira for a whole school year, a session. But as I told you, in the management of the school, we work with parents and sponsors. Mm -hmm. Clifford University allows them the window of paying 60% in the first semester if they can't afford to pay the whole 100%. They are allowed to pay 60% of that fee for the first semester. Then during the second semester, they will pay the remaining 40%. But the other courses which are not in those three high-class areas, they pay 590,000 Naira for a session, which they can also pay in two installments, 60% the first semester and 40% during the second semester. All right, uh, thank you very much. Uh, now, th that admission uh, aspect, you didn't concentrate more on that. Talking about the admission standards, okay. uh, let us get to know the admission standards of Clifford University. Thank you. As I said, depending on the area one is interested, be it science or arts, there are standards concerning you are having certain credit courses in WAEC or NACO mm -hmm. or both. So if you have those required courses, and then the cut-off mark of JAM, which is 130 or 140 this year, if you have it, we for now do not hide it. We leave it, we have left it at the national cut-off mark, which, which is, is that 140 in JAM, and then you have the required maths and English and the other three courses required to make it five credits in your area of study. For instance, if you have also sat for JAM, there are certain courses you are supposed to sit for. If you want to do something like computer science, there must be mathematics, 
physics in addition to English mm -hmm. and maybe one other subject. But if it is in the uh, nursing science, mathematics is not a requirement in JAM, but you need it in WAIC. So all those uh, are there. And they could be seen online. You know, Clifford University has our website, www.clifforduni.edu.ng. I repeat, www.clifforduni.edu.ng. One can also find these details. Aside that, we have what we call JUPEB program, Joint Universities Preliminary Education Board program. This involves over 90 universities in Nigeria. It is like the A-level of those days. If you don't have enough uh, papers as, at a time or you didn't do well in JAM, you can go, it's like a remedial program. It is run for one year and then the exam is taken. During that one year, you make sure that you make up your work. When you now take the JUPEB exam and you score well, you will be taken as an advanced level student to start in year two of your course of program. And by that way, you can still meet up with your colleagues who started in year one, provided you make up your WAIC or NECO and pass the JUPEB exam well. All right, thank you. Uh, before now, you've said something uh, about the management uh, uh, staff relationship, but a student will sit down somewhere and said, okay, that's part of the fact that my parents is insisting that I should uh, go for this and that, but the position of the parents is uh, 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 Lena rather. Lena is a stakeholder when it comes to education. Yeah. So what's the level of the relationship between, let's say, staff, member of the university and learners in Clifford or at Clifford University? Okay, Clifford University is a faith-based institution. And one of the things the Bible teaches us is that we should train children in the way they should go. And for us to train them, there must be that rapport between the students and the staff. So we make it mandatory for staff to relate to the students and work with them, ask questions. And also in the departments as well as faculties, we have what we call advisors. We have what we call academic advisors who advise the students concerning their programs, who counsel them on what and what to choose, maybe what credit load to uh, carry or, or whether to reduce. Mm -hmm. The heads of departments also are mandated by the vice chancellor to make sure that they sit with these students from time to time to find out how they are doing and know how to counsel them whether to reduce their credit load or to increase it or to leave it at the level the university has set. This is one of the ways. We also counsel them as to how they should study together, how they could group themselves in their own leisure time to also study in order to help one another. You know, some students are more brilliant than the others. So certain courses that seem to be difficult, you see that some people are scaling through fast. So when they sit together, study in groups, they come back to testify that they are studying together has helped them to improve in their area of study. All right, uh, dear listener, if you are just joining us, this is a flow, 94.9 FM Umoya, the flow of God's own state. Uh, we have been discussing issues about Clifford University Oberenta. Uh, who has been talking he is pastor jimba jimba isowe phd he's the vice president student services senior lecturer religious studies department at clifford university orienta we open our phone lines for you to uh if you have questions ask your questions uh, are there things you want to find out from him uh, put it across uh, so that uh, he would attend and address those issues accordingly as the program progresses uh, this morning the numbers for you to do that uh, 0808-182-6949 or 0811-605-2949. Let us speak with this caller. Hello, good morning and welcome. Hello, good morning. You're welcome. Um, after good morning. Good morning. My name is Henry Enyoko. I am calling from uh, Omo Gilliam Pura in Isia Okay. Uh, let me say to you about uh, from what you have read out about the uh, Clifford University, I think that uh, you people are very well organized. Your your systems are up and uh, very very rich. I should put it that way. You people are doing well. But let me ask you this question: For what you have explained about. Um, no incident except for very few married people. It is indicated married people at women, okay? But uh, if other students should be in the hotel, 
they did not make the university a mere British emblem or the trigger of uh, a seminary. Uh, All right, thank you very much. Of course, the uh, pastor will attend to your question. Keep the calls coming as we are still taking calls at this point. 0808-182-6949 or 0811-605-2949. All right, uh, Pastor Isuwe, you can attend to that particular question. Okay, thank you, uh, Rade Yoko from Tega. Well, it doesn't make it to be a seminary. Seventh Adventist Church runs several universities. In fact, we have over 120 universities across the world. And so it is our standard because, as I said, we train people in whole being aspects of life, which means even what they eat, what they drink. And this we cannot control when they are out of the campus. Yet it doesn't make it a seminary because what makes a place a seminary is the course of study. But in Clifford University, as I had said before, our programs are approved by the National Universities Commission. That's a Nigerian body. Mm -hmm. Even though we also have an Adventist body that comes from time to time to accredit our institution to make it a broader institution of the other 120 universities around the world. So the course of study is what makes it not to be a seminary. But our living together on campus helps us to build the heart, which is the spiritual aspect, as well as the educational aspect. All right, uh, thank you. The numbers are 0808-182-6949 or 0811-605-2949. Pastor is away. Another issue is uh, occultism in most of our higher institutions in Nigeria and elsewhere in the world. We find this often. I don't know if this uh, uh, issue is being uh, seen at your institution. Uh, what do you have to say about that? Okay. We have students' handbook that as each student comes in before he is finally registered, he gets the handbook that he will read through. And that is given, incidentally, from my office, where I occupy as the vice president student services. Mm. And one of the strict rules there is that you must not belong to any secret court or clandestine organization. Okay. And if that is found out, you will be expelled. So even Hello. as it stands, by God's grace, after Hello? six years of... All right, uh, Pastor, let's speak with this caller. All right. Uh, while we stick on to you. Good morning and welcome. Uh, good morning. You're welcome to the program. Yeah, I'm here to thank you, ma'am. All right. Uh, good morning, Pastor. Good morning. You're welcome. Uh, I want to know if I am by the lady down last year, like in a, in a national school, and I graduated, and the person comes to your uh, university to do a BSC program as a direct entry. All right. Uh, Pastor will attend to that question. Thank you very much for uh, calling in. Keep the cross coming 0808-182-6949 or 0811-605-2949. Let us have your position. Have you got questions to put across to him? Of course, it's time for you to do that. All right, Pastor, it's away. Yes, there is opportunity for direct entry in Clifford University. When you bring your papers and the school goes through your transcript and finds you admittable, you will be admitted to direct entry and that means you will begin from year two which is the rule for direct entry all right uh, uh, the handbook alone you, you were talking about pastor is away is yeah. it enough to uh, take care of the issue the tendency of a student that, to that is yourself? only to put them aware lawyers will say to put them in the know mm -hmm. but what we do now is that we monitor the students behavior we monitor their movements not only through security men, even the lecturers and other staff, we keep an eye on them. So once we see them not behaving well, we call them to order, we counsel them, and try to see that their character is guided. So we guide them day by day, moment by moment. All right, uh, I believe this would not be, if at all, we'd like to rest at that. Uh, talking about what's the population size? Uh, Clifford University over entire, the here campus, what's the population size? As it stands now, Clifford University has about 750 students. You know, initially when we started, we had only about 100 students the first year. But gradually, by God's grace, the student population has increased. And I believe with these additional programs, the population is expected to rise to even 1,500 students. All right. Uh, what do you have to tell uh, someone listening at this moment again? Concerning Clifford University, should one have interest in bringing 
his or her work to your university? Yeah, Clifford University is a serene, has a serene environment and it's a place to be for one to study. There is nothing that disturbs one in Clifford University. There is a good rapport and there are facilities in place. As I had said before, we have a standard library, we have the e-library, we have facilities for recreation where the students can go for recreation because it is said that all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. And then we have a feeding system where students buy as they want to eat. So when they go there, they choose what to buy and buy as much as they have the money to eat. The fees they pay is for tuition and accommodation. But for feeding, they pay the much they have and eat as they have. But we have a timetable that guides them as to when to eat and when not to eat, when to play and when to read. Okay, you, you, you will continue with that. Let's listen to this caller. Hello, good morning and welcome. Good morning, my, good morning, Mortis. You're welcome, sir. Good morning, my honorable pastor in the house. I'm happy to know more to all of you today. Good morning and thank you for calling. I know Mr. Prince will share with another woman at your ball. Please, uh, my honorable pastor in the house, I would like to know with this kind of um, strikes that goes on between the federal government and us, you know, I'm quite knowing that your school is a private institution which is not likely to be affected by this infrastructure strike. What advice can you give between the federal government and us so as to stop this always um, um, strikes? And what really did my give to ensure that the federal government does not assume? All right. These are my questions. May God bless my brother. All right. Thank you very much. Yeah. If okay. I, let's still take this uh, particular why you uh, do it at once. Hello. Good morning. Uh, good morning. You're welcome. Thank yes. Uh, this is my name. What do you say, name is, please? I listen with keen interest on the explanation the guest have just made. But just the discussion I have wanted you to touch. It has to do with employment because I understand which the academic and non-academic appointment are exclusively reserved for the Adventist. Do, do admission into the university also without for Adventist alone? Right. May they handle their employment system? If that's the case, please, can you enlighten us the more? All right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, Pastor Sewell, please join the uh, both questions and then address it as All we right. run of the All right. On the first the question from Prince William and Umona I will advise the government to do their best to make sure that academic institutions don't go on strike. Learning is like where one is receiving healing for a disease. Mm. If you break it, you start again, you start afresh. But what is happening in academic institutions is that when they break and come, they don't start afresh. They just jump into examinations. It makes learning not to be real, not to be complete. So on the other question, it is not true that Adventists only employ uh, church members in the institution. Mm. Currently, the head of our Department of Chemical Sciences is called Mr. Ejiofo. He's not a Seventh-day Adventist. We also have so many other scientists in the science areas who are not Seventh-day Adventists. Even the person who is currently the dean of our School of Social Sciences is not an Adventist. All right. And he's not even from Abia State. Well, finally, just give out your address and then a contact so that uh, anyone can reach out to you people to find uh, uh, detailed information from you as regards Clifford okay. University quickly okay, as, as run of the program. Okay, as I said earlier on, you can reach us through our website and get information from www.cliffordunity.edu.ng www.cliffordunity.edu.ng On phone lines, you can call us on 0802 766 0454 0802 766 0454. Also call us on 0703 426 3550. I repeat 0703 426 3550. All right. Thank you very much, Jellis. Now I've been speaking with Pastor Dimba Dimba Esowe, PhD, Vice President, Student Services, Senior Lecturer, Religious Studies Department at Clifford University, Uwurenta, here campus, Abia State. Thank you for coming through, sir. Thank you. God bless. All right, uh, dear listener, please take a look to your Dallas station, Flow 94.9 FM, Umoya, the flow of God's own state, as we keep thrilling you 
with our programs. My name is Moses Ben. Good morning. <laughs>